This is a test machinima of El Azhar Park and Darb Shoghlan complex imported into the Oblivion game engine. The ARCHICAD models were created by Naveen Akhla Muhammad Abayd, Habafoda Karim Ibrahim, Muhammad Qatab, Muhammad Said, Nadin Samir, Roberto Samion, and Ibrahim Zakaria. Manipulations and conversions in Blender, Elder Scrolls construction set, FRAP screen capture, AV2CD, QuickTime Pro Music, and Final Cut Pro editing by TH Culhane. Hello and welcome to Our World. You're looking down the Al Azhar Park Hill to the Darb Shoghlan Complex, and this is how you would get to us at Solar Cities if you came in from Al Azhar Park. You would come down the hill, get on your horse if you had one. It's fun to put the horse in the Oblivion game engine, and go over to the metal staircase at the old Ayyubid Wall. Climb the metal staircase into the wall, and when you get inside the wall, take a left, and climb the stone staircase onto the top of the wall and then continue turning left, climbing up the metal staircases along the wall and that'll take you to the Darb Shoghlan complex, which was an old school that burnt down and collapsed during an earthquake that's been renovated by the Aga Crown Trust for Culture. This is the performance area and there's Al Azhar Park. So continue on through, climb the next metal staircase and take another left at the green door and that'll take you inside the Darb Shoghlan complex. This is the area where they put on theatrical plays, this is where they have community meetings, and this is where we had the Zabelin play when James Dean and Elisa Conklin were making their video on our Solar Cities work. This is the outside courtyard of the complex. We're not finished rendering the models, but it shows what the detail work can look like. And this is Darb Shoghlan Street, Again, the rendering isn't finished, but it shows the placement of the buildings on the other side of the street. And now we ride over to Building 72 by the Mahzan, where they store the supplies. Building 72 is where we put our first solar hot water systems to test them in the community. The evacuated tube system that was donated by Alawatidi at RSD Technologies is still there on the roof facing south. And as you face out, you can see the layout and how we are in relation to the wall and the Dark Shipline complex. Now riding back to the complex, we get off our trusty steed and exit the uh, uh, Ayubid wall, go down the staircase, get back on your horse, and go back up the hill to El Azhar Park. In the real El Azhar Park, there is no waterfall. We're not done now putting in the water features and the vegetation. But this area here is where the staircase is that takes you up to the top of El Azhar Park. The nice thing about doing this kind of modeling in the Oblivion game engine is you can change the time from day to night. You can set where uh, the sun is so that you can see the shadows that would be cast on the solar panels to see if they're positioned right. And you can see where the stars are. So it gives you an accurate way to test different technologies without having to do them in the real world when it comes to light and shadow. Hope you enjoyed this tour. For Solar Cities, I'm T.H. Culhane.